Hello my dear friends welcome to aspire 32 and many of you have mentioned in the comment section that you are liking the cage discussions and today i am here to again explain you a very important helpful tip for the endodontics which generally people find it very difficult to understand now all of us uh, have this difficulty of identifying which one is a buccal canal which one is a lingual canal when uh, we are doing the uh, diagnosis or when you are doing the uh, root canal uh, working length estimation or maybe after obturation also because there are many times you have a radiograph which is uh, of a treated root canal treatment and then when the patient asks you you have to tell them which canal is under obturated and that becomes very confusing in uh, mandibular molars because you will have uh, canals in the same line most of the time and when you take the angulation it becomes confusing now there is a helpful uh, uh, formula to identify it in a very simple way most of you remember it as a slob rule and as a student i used to really hate it and it used to be so confusing and that same lingual opposite buccal you know every time we has to imagine it and it used to become very difficult and even today students only remember it theoretically they they don't try to apply it practically because it appears to be very confusing so i am going to explain you a very simple another rule which can help you to identify and remember and explain and treat the cases better so obviously this is the first x ray where you can see we have one tooth where i have done the obturation and we have two canals okay in the mesial and two canals in the distal side now if if you are a beginner in endodontics or if you are a ug student if by looking at the x ray you might find it very difficult to identify which is buccal and which is a lingual uh, maybe just take the mesial root the mesio buccal and mesio lingual you find it very difficult this confusion will also arise if you are taking working length and many times when i was a student people used to tell me put k file in uh, one canal and put a h file in another canal and uh, based on that you can actually identify it and this i did for few months and uh, then i came across a rule which i am going to explain you today which makes it really simple to identify the canal locations whether it is mesio buccal or mesio lingual now most of the time we take a angulation when the beam is perpendicular to the tooth so as you can see in this image we have this x ray beam this is the buccal surface and the rays are passed perpendicular to the buccal surface so obviously we will have this kind of image where the mesio buccal and mesio lingual are overlapping if they are in a same line in the tooth since in this case you will see that the distal are separate the canals may be there are two separate roots they appear to be different but the confusion is in the mesio uh, mesial root and to identify this we have to do some separation and that we generally do by giving 20 to 30 degree angulation to the x-ray beam here there is a very one important nbd question because we all give the mesial angulation and we assume that is the slob rule please remember that our head is moving head of the x-ray unit is moving mesial side but the rays in here are directed towards distally so whenever you people say give mesial angulation what they actually mean is move the head mesially and the rays are directed towards the distal side so as you can clearly see in this image so when you do that you see the mesial canals getting separated now if i ask you which one is mesial which one is distal you will think of that slob rule same lingual opposite buccal that becomes really confusing so there is a very simple rule which can help you to identify this and that rule is called as mbd rule and this means mbd means mesio buccal is always distal to the mesio lingual canal when you give a mesial angulation so let me explain you that 
now the same x-ray i have given this for this image i have given the mesial angulation that means i moved my head of the x-ray from the perpendicular position to the mesial side but the rays are now getting directed from the mesial towards the distal side as you can see in this image so whenever you do that whenever you do that the the distal canal is always the buccal canal in each route for example you can see in this image i gave the mesial angulation so mesiobuccal is always distal to the mesiolingual when you give mesial angulation that, that means the second canal which is distal to the first canal when you give the mesial angulation to the x-ray that will be always mesiobuccal and when this becomes mesiobuccal automatically the front one has to be a mesiolingual one same way in the distal root the front canal which is mesial that is the distolingual canal and the canal which is most distal that becomes a buccal canal and since it is there in the distal root it will be the distobuccal canal i know this may appear a bit confusing but try to revise this follow this rule called as mbd rule and most of your treatment becomes very simple without adding any extra file of different configuration while you are doing diagnosis or treatment planning if you want me to do few more videos like this please mention in the comment section don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel bye for now